Hello everyone, this is Nintendo Guy, and it's time for a video game review. Today's video game review is Hogan's Alley for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's take a look at this game. Hogan's Alley is a game that uses the Zapper Gun, much like Duck Hunt and Wild Gunman. There are three different game variations in the game. There's Game A, Game B, and Game C, so let's take a look at Game A first. In this mode, there are three characters that appear on screen. Your objective is to shoot the gangsters while avoiding the innocent people. You're only given a few seconds to react, so don't be too cautious. There are three types of gangsters and three types of innocent people. If you shoot all the gangsters on screen, you move on to the next level. If you shoot the wrong person, or you're too slow, you get a miss. If you get ten misses, then it's game over. Sometimes the game will trick you by having more than one gangster on screen, or sometimes the gangster will look similar to the regular person by having the same color of clothing. Now let's talk about Game B. Game B is very similar to Game A, except you're in a town and you have to shoot enemies in order to progress through the town. And if you shoot the wrong person, or you're too late, you miss. Get 10 misses, it's game over. If you make it through the town, then you've pretty much beaten the level, and then you have to go through the town again. So, it's not like the town is changing each time you progress through the level, but at the same time, the game is very difficult. The last mode in the game is Game C. In this game, you have to shoot cans to prevent them from falling. You have to make the cans land on platforms, or you can make the cans fly into these three holes. If you drop ten cans, it's game over. This mode pretty much puts your NES Zapper skills to the test. It's tricky, but entertaining. My only problem about this game is the fact that you can't play this game on a flat screen TV. Yeah, I know it's not the game's fault, but come on. Whoever designed these flat screen TVs really should have thought of this through. You design a TV where you can play video games in HD, but you can't use the Zapper, the Super Scope, or even Rob the Robot? What the hell? In conclusion, Hogan's Alley is an enjoyable game. It's not really the kind of game that you'll spend hours upon hours playing, but it is a fun little arcade style like game for if you just want to kick back and relax for a few minutes. In terms of entertainment value, it's pretty much on the same level as Duck Hunt, so if you like Duck Hunt, you'll probably like Hogan's Alley. But with that being said, this is Nintendo Guy saying take care, and here's the rating.